What's the difference between Deep Seek V3 and Deep Seek R1? Can we try to like uh, lay out the confusion potential? Yes. So for one, I'm very understanding of many people being confused by these two model names. So I would say the best way to think about this is that when training a language model, you have what is called pre-training, which is when you're predicting the large amounts of mostly internet text. You're trying to predict the next token. And what to know about these new DeepSeq models is that they do this internet large-scale pre-training once to get what is called DeepSeq v3 base. This is a base model. It's just going to finish your sentences for you. It's going to be harder to work with than ChatGPT. And then what DeepSeq did is they've done two different post-training regimes to make the models have specific desirable behaviors. So what is the more normal model in terms of the last few years of AI, an instruct model, a chat model, a quote unquote aligned model, a helpful model, there are many ways to describe this, is more standard post-training. So this is things like instruction tuning, reinforcement learning from human feedback. We'll get into some of these words. And this is what they did to create the DeepSeq v3 model. This was the first model to be released, and it is very highly performant. It's competitive with GPT-4, Llama 405b, so on. 